Okay, so we're back. Um, so I've kind of cheated a little. Uh, I've reloaded an earlier save, or that earlier save, and redone the bit I did so poorly last time. Uh, and by redid, I mean I just sort of avoided that because it was really unnecessary in the first place. Uh, basically, what we need to do, or what we needed to do, was just use this console uh, once we once we found the code and unscrewed this panel. So that's that's what we're going to do, uh, and that allows us to progress. And then we enter the code. Okay, and now we go back to the room. Nope. I guess I could uh, overwrite that that failed save. So one weird thing I noticed actually is when I replayed the section, like I I reloaded the earlier save and also redid the stuff I did uh, after the save, after that earlier save that I did in the later save that needed to be redone. Like I. I, I went in, into this room and I used the, I opened up, picked up the plug there, read the screen, uh, unlocked that red box and also got the custom Mangum uh, site. Okay, I forgot to, yeah, this is stupid. Forgot to re-equip re it. There we go. So the sights allow us to critical shot stuff, I guess. I don't know why we need to use two types of bullets there, that just seems silly. Okay, um, but now we should be able to go in here, yeah. So basically I did all that stuff again that I did earlier. Uh, but I didn't get chomped on by the dinos. But like one of the interesting things I noted was when I went back into that, that library room, I don't know if it's just because of how I played, but like the dinosaur that crashed through the door, like off screen, uh, that didn't happen. And it, it, there's still two dinos in that, that hallway, like the one, the one that uh, has the red box in. So this is worth looking at, this is why I came back. So red and green, blue and orange, and green and purple. So what we're going to do is going to be a guy in here, and we need to uh, go in a poison room. Uh, and if this makes any sense, we need to change the ratios of the poisons to neutralize the poison, uh, and then we'll be able to go in there. It doesn't make any sense, but still. And we have to look at the screen. So if you look at the room, the tint of the, the colour tint of the room is what colour it's at. So, is that sort of orange? So that's green. Which one was green? Was it red? Nope. Uh, purple green, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and then what is that blue? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing well at this. How this guy isn't dying from all this, I don't know. Uh, I don't get, like, the screen is green there, surely? That, that was green, wasn't it? I'm not wrong here. Uh, and green, it's supposed to be red and green, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Wow, okay. So there's like a way to do it in just three uh, turns. Or three uses of chemicals. Uh, but holy shit, how, how are you supposed to tell just from... Well, obviously you can tell colours, but like... Th that was like shades of colour, like there was like... Ye I swear there was yellow in there, rather than orange. And it kept shifting between shades rather than pure colours. That fool. I could just be blind though. Who are you talking about? What are you planning, Kirk? I'm here with the rescue team. Where is Dr. Kirk? Here. This will give you access to his personal lab. Two days to retirement. <laughs> Okay, I think that's... Is there any goodies on him? Okay, maybe we can use that uh, back in the, the medicine room then. Uh, I think the chip thing we just found is for the uh, library. Oh, Jesus Christ. How did that get in there? Seriously? Yep, I'm gonna gas the uh, Velociraptor. Wow. Well, wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well. But seriously, like, I get, like, zombies, how we can argue, like, they could shamble into a room and like somehow force their way through a door but like how the hell does a velociraptor force its way through a lab door and like why isn't there one in here as well like where did it come from there's there's the security barriers everywhere i think that's my my biggest takeaway from this game like it doesn't make sense where the the dinosaurs appear from like or how how invasive they are because like from i mean i'm no security expert but just like from looking at the facility the way it's organized it doesn't seem as though apart from the outside areas obviously it doesn't seem as though it's the type of area that could be overrun by dinosaurs i mean i can imagine the compies getting inside for example and velociraptors and like the perimeter but not like uh, not swarming the facility like they are because they are everywhere oh dear oh. yep that's gonna hurt I don't know how that hit both of them, but I am I am glad. Oh shit, we needed to go in the, into the room, didn't we? Damn it, she's bleeding. Okay, so should we go back up and try and use the, the emergency key thing? I noticed this while I was redoing the videos, actually there's a big map on the wall. I never really thought about this. Not that I really need the map info. Really, when you come out of it. I do hope there's not a dinosaur in here. Wait, where was I going? Uh, okay, yeah, uh, the bit where 
I'm getting mixed up. The the bit where uh, Rick is, or was, where Tom is dead. Uh, I think that's it's through here and it's down next to the control room, isn't it? Down the stairs next to the control room. Am I right? It's done all shouts at once, by the way. I gotta say, those bloody handprints on the door are pretty cool. <laughs> I imagine if I do pick anything up, it's just gonna be some healing items, but still. Like a rocket launcher or like a grenade launcher would be nice. I don't think we're gonna get that lucky though. Damn, look at that mess in the corner though. It's just a random dead velociraptor getting chomped on, isn't it? Yeah, okay, use the key. It's just gonna be health, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Great. That was helpful. Can pick up the health kit though, that's pretty good. So we'll go back up. Um, no, I'm not going to save. We'll go back up. We'll save in the control room. Uh, and then I think we'll go and use the, the chip card thing. Is it chip card? Oh, key, key, key. The the thing we picked up with the lettering on. Is it key chip? Let's have a look actually. Yeah, key chip, okay. Because I think we used that in the library, I think. Uh, and then I don't know. I don't know what happens after that, I can't remember. Just thinking, is that a map on the wall? No, it's not, is it? It would probably be brighter if it was a usable map. Let's just write that one. <laughs> I love that. That noise when I get fried, but like yeah, as I mentioned this earlier, like playing this, I like I don't hate it, but it's not great either, uh, and it just really makes me look back on Dino Crisis 2 uh, in a much better light because I like I I loved Dino Crisis 2. It's a good game, or it was a good game. I don't know if it still holds up. But I loved it at the time, and like, uh, I enjoyed this enough when I played it. Oh shit. There's a dino. Okay, you just stay there, buddy. But like, this isn't great now. Like, the... It's a very sort of clunky experience, and... A lot of stuff doesn't work for me. Like, the, it's not a bad game, per se. Even re even in retrospect, just like the healing items and the the mixing, just doesn't work for me. Uh, okay, oops. And just the way like the whole combat system works doesn't 